all right guys welcome welcome back welcome back to the um part three of um comptie practice test simulation or pbq performance based questions all right so today um we have a special um experience that we are about to do with uh simulation it's gonna be uh customizing two pcs one for gaming and the other one for virtualization or vm all right so let's see what they say here a customer and has requested two custom pcs one to be used for gaming and the other one to be used as virtualization workstation for her business the gaming pc should support the latest games and gaming peripherals the virtualization workstation should be able to host several production virtual machines as part of Anne's home business all right, instructions, use the tabs at the top to the switch between the pieces. Objects should be placed on the appropriate slot. Display areas can only be used once, all right? So all slot display areas should be filled. Once the simulation is complete, select the done button to submit. All right, guys, let's see here. All right, so um, as you can see on the left, uh, on the left pane, we have um, memory, 12 gigabyte of RAM. We have 24 gigabyte of RAM. We have a graphic card and an onboard video and dual monitor. We have a KVM switch. Um, okay, we have a power supply, two power supply units actually, one uh, 1,000 and, on, and the other one is 750. All right, and we also have liquid cooling and CPU fan, you know those uh, items, they are for the um, um, microprocessor. All right, we have a sound card and also we have an external monitor. All right, so let's see here, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six empty spot. All right, so I, I would suggest you to uh, start with the power supply. All right, so let's start with the power supply. One thing you should know, um, between a gaming PC and a virtualization workstation, for the gaming PC, you're going to need more power. Okay? You're going to need more power for the gaming PC. All right? Um, so, we let's place the power supply unit. All right. So, we put the, 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 the thousand one for the gaming pc and also uh for the virtualization we are using the 750 because like i said you need more power for the gaming pc all right so now let's see uh for the memories and the cooling okay so for the memory for the virtualization you're gonna need more memory ram a reason because you're gonna have to run a multiple operating system on it all right so like one of um you can see um on my mac um macbook i install windows so in this case we don't know um we don't know which other operating system i'm gonna install on the virtualization pc so we're gonna need more memory ram that's why we put 24 gigabyte ram on the virtualization and 12 gigabyte ram on the gaming pc all right now for the uh, uh, uh cooling system the cooling system the gaming will need more um cooling uh, to operate so that's why we put the liquid cooling uh, on the processor and then we are just using a cpu fan for the virtualization pc all right so now let's go with the graphic card slot all right for the gaming pc we're gonna need a graphic card because um the resolution the resolution some games we require we got a good resolution so that's why we are using a um a graphic card and for the virtualization we're just doing an onboard video because it's okay we're gonna need just one video output for any um other of, of the virtual machine that 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 we're gonna launch all right so as you can see um here every time we are using one of the item it disappears so this is so this is how it's gonna be in the exam so once you take the memory and you drag it here you can't you can't use it because you can't use it only once all right so what do we have now the external for the external display 
all right for the external display um for the gaming pc you're gonna need the duo monitor gonna be used for the gaming pc okay because some of the game requires a dual monitors to to uh to have a perfect view and for the visualization we can just use a kvm switch you can just use a kvm switch to um to be able to use uh, one monitor for multiple um computers all right so now we uh we have only one left it's gonna be the slot okay with the slot we have uh, only two items left okay so it's gonna be the Sauron sound card and external backup drive all right so we're gonna we're just gonna use the external backup drive for the virtualization pc because we're gonna need space to install one two or three uh different types of operating system and for the gaming pc we're gonna need the sound because some um like especially me when i'm playing my video games i need the that sound to be with a blast in my in my room okay so last item external backup drive for the visualization and sound card for the gaming pc all right guys i hope you enjoyed the uh, part three of the visualization and don't forget guys if you like it if you really enjoy it give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because we have more and more um simulation and um and um practice exam coming all right